My client has a $30,000 budget. Jose from Kuwait, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, Jose, thank you for getting a uh, analysis product for me, man. Um, you have an interesting story. You are currently uh, living in Kuwait right now. You're an IT guy contracting out for the United States Army. Uh, so that's cool. That's interesting. Obviously, it's uh, probably a pain in the ass to do property management um, in, in Cleveland when you're in Kuwait. So, uh, you know, Holton Wise, of course, will be able to take take care of all that for you post-closing. It looks like that's what you wanted us to do. Uh, so you have $30,000, right? And you're smart. You want to utilize that $30,000 as a down payment. So we can stretch that $30,000 as far as a $120,000 piece of property. Um, the property I found for you is actually $30,000 less than that. It's $89,000 right on the dot. So uh, we'll save some extra funds um, and you could save up for your second property. Uh, just a little bit about you, just so we're on the same page and everyone watching this is on the same page because they're going to get this video a couple months after you've watched it because um, they all go live on Holton Wise TV. So if you're brand new, uh, definitely so smash the subscribe button and take a look at the rest of the MLS search and analysis shows um, so you guys can learn. And then when you're actually ready to buy, what you'll want to do is go to the uh, For Sale tab on HoltonWise.com and you can purchase your own show. The particular show that Jose purchased, uh, he just gave me his criteria, what he wants to do, and I got to find him a property. So I got 30 Gs to work with. Uh, as far as that asset class, you don't want like extreme risk. Like you're a busy dude, you're in Kuwait, you can't be dealing with like crazy stuff. Uh, so we're going to play in the BC area. I found you a property in Garfield Heights. Uh, let's just get right into it. It's $89,000, okay? Now Garfield Heights, um, for those of you that don't know, uh, if you don't know, I want you to, in the show notes below, go ahead and click the link to the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. I uh, graded every neighborhood in Cleveland on an A to F scale for risk. Uh, so this is the Ultimate Guide here. Um, this is what you'll see here. This is the Ultimate Guide. So A, A to F, you know, F being the highest risk, A being the least risk. Garfield Heights, I consider it like a high C, low B, right? We got a median income, $41,000. Uh, the one negative to Garfield Heights is the property taxes are kind of high, 4.13%. And we will go over that when we get into the numbers of this property. But other than um, the taxes being high, I like this municipality uh, because it's good because it does help keep the property values low, in my opinion, because a lot of uh, investors are driving uh, the, uh, the, the purchase and sale of properties in this market. It's a very big rental market, so it does keep the, the values a little bit lower. Uh, so even though the rate's high, the, the total taxes are not like extreme. So this one right here. 9901 Greenview, like I said, listed at 89,000 on the dot, not 899, just purely 89. Most realtors will do 899 um, or like 889 to make it look lower. This guy just kept it simple. 89 grand is a dude out of like a Howard Hanna office. It's a pretty big residential brokerage out here. I think they got a few thousand agents, so you may see a decent chunk of their listings around, but I don't think that this particular guy is uh, necessarily an investor agent. Um, and, you know, based on what his work is, I, I feel like he's more of a residential guy. So that's why you guys have me, right? That's why you have me. That's why you buy these analysis so I could talk to you guys about the property um, as an investor would. Let's just read what he wrote. <clears throat> Investors are owner occupants. This is a no brainer. Excellent up down duplex is updated and move in ready. Light and bright living spaces with beautiful built in glass cabinets, newer fixtures and ceiling fans, and great front porches. FYI, I just want you guys to know I don't consider ceiling fans to be a benefit. 
uh, when we do renovations, like when you get a bid for a turnover renovation on a property like this, Holton Wise will bid out removing that ceiling fan and replacing it uh, with a light fixture. Reason being, uh, you don't want stuff hanging off the walls in rental properties. Tenants, uh, if something's moving and it's hanging, the tenants can, will, and often do break them, and that affects your bottom line. So, uh, you know, that's a red flag that this guy would be more of a residential type agent, right? You know, him thinking something like a ceiling fan is a pro when it's actually a con for us investors. Just something for you guys to know. Uh, newer vinyl windows, that's awesome because we can go Section 8, although uh, Jose doesn't look like you're interested in Section 8 at the moment. Totally fine. We're still going to get solid rents. We'll get into that in a minute, though. Uh, so new vinyl windows, room in basement, and a spacious unfinished attic for storage or expansion of living space. I don't want you to expand that uh, the attic. I don't want you to do anything there. It's cost prohibitive. It wouldn't bring in enough money for the cost of the rehab. Save your additional funds for the next property. <clears throat> The exterior features a nice covered deck in the back, low-maintenance siding, two-car garage, concrete driveway. Fantastic location is, a clo is close to shopping and Garfield Park reservation with easy access to highways and a quick drive to downtown Cleveland. Currently, down unit rents for $600 a month. Market rents could be $650 and up. Photos in the listing are of the up unit, down unit is very similar. Uh, well, let's take a look at the photos together okay nice big spacious true duplex all right that is a beautiful looking unit man that's nice it is light it is bright i like those floors that's that's nice uh we like to go with the agreeable gray we used to use this cream color a few years ago uh, but this is fine um at the next turnover we'd want to repaint over that because you're gonna have to repaint it anyway but this is totally cool this is more or less rent ready i mean my guys we might go in and we'll bid out some stuff like it's just going to save you money down the road to have us remove these ceiling fans. Uh, but it's up to you. Like this, I would want to remove this too. Like this is just like something ready to break. It's just a hassle for you, the landlord. Uh, it's not like a tenant's going to pay more in rent to have this little chandelier type thing. Uh, the kitchen is dated. Um, it's rentable, but it is dated. We'll talk about that. Just more photos. Nice carpet in the bedrooms. Decently updated bathroom. Not too shabby. Uh, this is a, another additional finish room in the basement, which uh, I'm not really sure how I feel about this. This will be something we'll have to refer to the home inspector. I haven't been inside the home. Uh, typically, we have damp basements in Cleveland, and we have, like, high water table and stuff. So, like, these older homes usually don't like to see finished spaces. Uh, maybe they waterproofed it, maybe they didn't, I don't know, uh, but this will definitely be something that the home inspector should look at. If he sees any moisture in there, it would probably be a good idea to just like clear all this out, just remove it all and just have it be the concrete and then you could dry lock it later. Because the tenants, it's not really going to be much living, it's not like considered living space for the tenants, so the room doesn't really add much value from a rental perspective. I don't know if it's wet just for the record, but that is one thing we should be cognizant of. But again, getting this analysis from me, you know, I give you uh, input, the due diligence on like the property as an investment vehicle, the type of tenants you're going to get, how much money you could make. But, you know, I'm, you know, by no means has this replaced the need for a home inspection because I'm doing everything for my desk with this particular product. So you should never get one of these products from me and think you don't need a home inspection. Still do your due diligence, man. The amount of money you spend for me to do due diligence here and the due diligence that the home inspector will do inside the house is very, very small compared to, uh, you know, buying a home for $90,000 and having it not work out for you. So uh, we'll, we'll have to look into that. There's the attic. Here's the back porch. Two electric panels. These are upgraded, so that's good. Uh, there's a furnace. That furnace looks a, a little older. I'd probably say it's 15, 20 years old, maybe about, you know, 10, 15 years old or so right there. Uh, this looks like a pretty new hot water tank. I'd say this one's over 10 years old. I'd say this is probably in the 5 range if I had to guess. Hot water tanks, they're going to last you about 15 years, just so you know, right? So that's going to come into your capital expenditure budget. Um, so <clears throat> you're going to have to save for that, and we'll get into that when I run the numbers soon. But more or less, you're going to spend about 1000 bucks every 15 years replacing hot water tanks. Um, as far as furnaces, you're going to spend about 3000 replacing those every 30 years or so. But everything looks to be in, like, reasonable shape um, as far as those big-ticket items. So that is all pretty good. Um, one other thing. In Garfield Heights, we have something called the point of sale. Uh, and that is the city issues violations, and then you have to, as the buyer, either assume those violations or the seller has to fix them before the property closes. Now, <clears throat> there's special non-publicly available broker notes that I read 
uh, like you can't see that it's not anywhere on the public facing listing but uh, what the listing agent had said was uh, the POS has more or less um, been almost fully completed there's a couple very minor items and he said the seller um, would prefer the buyer assumes them but he would also be negotiable uh, because the property has been on the market for a decent chunk of time now for a while it's, it shows 113 days on the market but they did do it uh, they pulled it off the market for a little bit it was temporary off market for a while and what that means is maybe the seller wanted to do more repairs and didn't want to market the property that time uh, during that time this this ticker will still go um, so don't think it's just like this ugly duckling that's been on the market forever and no, everyone's just passing it. It was People were unable to bid on it for a little while, um, presumably why the owner was fixing stuff. Um, so what that tells me is they, they, they said, hey, we'd prefer not to mess with this stuff, but like we will do it if you want us to. And they have been working to get this thing sold for you know over, over almost four months now. So it shows their level of motivation. Now the price point, it's 89,000. I think that's a reasonable price point. And I'm gonna run all the numbers based upon that price point because that's more or less what I'm selling properties in Garfield for right now. Uh, and as you know, I'm number one seller of rentals in Cleveland. So if anybody else uh, is not currently subscribed uh, to my investment properties for sale show and you'd like me to email those episodes out to you every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the show notes, you can subscribe to that mailing list or, of course, smash the subscribe button here on YouTube to get all my properties, which do come complete with a video tour. Uh, but a lot of people um, don't get the opportunity to buy those because I have so many followers and fans of our shows and investors worldwide that uh, pretty much like when one property goes out, I usually have like 20 bids on the first day. So, you know, that means 19 people are looking for more inventory. And that's why we have the MLS Search and Analysis Show. That's why Jose has hired me to find him something because um, it's, it's just really hard to snag a deal on my investment property for sale show because the demand's so freaking high uh because you know we're good at this <laughs> uh speaking of being good at stuff just so everybody knows uh let me shout out to the sponsor of today's show fs houses they're good at this too they do it down there in indianapolis indiana um you know guys you guys are in high 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 areas high ex high expense markets man la new york florida washington dc right all these markets they're expensive you can't buy rental real estate this cheap over there guys uh, but cleveland ain't the only awesome investment market for you guys there's a ton of markets and we work in a lot of them and we partner with local ground folks who know that market uh top to bottom like i know cleveland so my guys at fs houses uh they know indy so their info's in the show notes below reach out to them uh a lot of the price points and rental ratios down at indy are similar and fs houses they're offering a a similar level of service that you can expect here in Cleveland with Holton Wise down there in Indy. Uh, but circling back to the property at hand, Jose, sorry, man, I got to get my sponsors a plug every time, dude. They uh, keep the lights on around here. Um, <clears throat> let's just get right into that rent roll. So the downstairs unit Listing agents got it rented for 600 a month currently. Now he said that the market rent for the upstairs unit was 650 and up. Luckily for you, I know this market like the back of my hand. If I haven't mentioned that a couple times during the show here, um, that's actually low, dude. We can get seven and a quarter for this easy. Now that kitchen was a little dated. I honestly still think my team can get you seven and a quarter because the space was just really large, just a large duplex. And the kitchen wasn't, like, horrible. Um, so we're just going to assume that at the current price, we don't need to put much, if anything, into this. Now, when we get to the home inspection, some things may pop up. Maybe there is water in that basement room, and we want to tear that out, or at least negotiate that the seller tears it out, things of that nature. So uh, don't take everything that we're doing on the numbers here as the complete Bible. There's going to be some possible variations later. This is to get you just a good starting point. If we put it on the market for seven and a quarter and after 30 days it hadn't rented, uh, what we'd want to do is spend a little money, maybe a couple grand upgrading the kitchen, like paint those cabinets, get a new countertop. But I still think we can probably get seven and a quarter just because the rest of the space is so nice. The bathroom is nice and the kitchen wasn't like atrocious. It wasn't the worst kitchen, but it by far was not the best, but I think you could get away with it. If not, if we did upgrade that kitchen, spend a few grand, 725 almost immediately, if not 750. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. 
Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price to rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business, who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to HoltonWise.com today. So, by keeping the downstairs tenant at 600, which by the way, when that tenant moves out and you renovate that unit, you'll get seven and a quarter, 750 out of that. So in reality, we could really be bringing a 1500 bucks a month in rent uh, out of this property one day. But just going with that down tenant at six, upstairs at seven and a quarter, you're bringing in 13 and a quarter, a month, that's 15900 a year. Again, you're buying the sucker if you bought it at list at 89000 If you ran the numbers on all that, your repairs and maintenance, that'll average out to 66 a month. Your vacancy and non-payment, that'll average out to 66 a month. Because remember, tenants don't pay every day. You're going to have to evict people. And if you've never seen an eviction, Jose, in the show notes, I got a couple links to some live evictions we did on the Tennis from Hell show. Check those out. Everybody watching needs to check those out, guys, because you're if you want to invest in real estate, you're not going to be able to avoid um, evictions. It's part of the game. CapEx, right? That's saving for them big ticket items. I touched on it earlier. The furnaces, the hot water tanks, things like the roof. Roof on a house like this, you know, that's probably like a $6,000 roof. Uh, insurance, okay. Uh, we can handle your insurance. We own an insurance company in the show notes. Uh, you could click the link to get a quote. Anybody else watching, man, we can uh, we can quote you. We do multiple states. Uh, we're in all of Ohio. We're in Indiana, and uh, we're in Tennessee, and I think we're in Alabama, and a couple other states. I don't run the day-to-days of the insurance company. My partner, Kevin Hogue, does. Uh, so reach out to him for more info. It's uh, Look, man, we only deal with investors. We don't sell real estate to owner-occupied people. We don't insure owner-occupied people, really. it's you know We're looking to just bash your premium down, because I know all you guys care about is the ROI. So that's what we made that insurance company for. Um, taxes. I touched on this earlier when we were looking at the ultimate guide. They are going to be expensive. 3512, okay, so that's 292 a month. Um, it's just if you're going to invest, uh, you know, we have higher taxes in the Cleveland market. Cleveland itself is a little lower. The rate's like 2.79%. Garfield is uh, higher, though. It's 4.13. Now, I do think Garfield Heights is going to provide you uh, with a better tenant base uh, than a lot of the areas in Cleveland, like Old Brooklyn and like the C class areas in Cleveland. Garfield's a little bit higher. So that's a trade off there. Uh, what else we got here? We got water sewer. Should estimate that out at about 150 a month. Lawn care will be 44 a month. We're gonna cut it 30. Uh, we're gonna cut it 16 times, and we're gonna charge it 33 bucks a time. We cut it, so that'll be a 5.28 for the year. So that's 44 dollars on average. And then of course PM, we're gonna charge you 10 percent. So we should be charging you 132 a month. So you should be anticipating spending $896 a month to operate your property, which would leave you with a net operating income of $429 or $5140 a year on average. Now, some months are going to be better, some are going to be worse, like repairs and maintenance, $66 a month. Don't think that you're going to get 12 monthly statements from Holton Wise where we charge you $66 12 times. It doesn't work that way. It's going to be like nothing for like nine months, and then it'll be like, boom thousand dollar issue i mean a thousand dollar issue would actually be more of a capital expenditure because it's probably like a hot water tank uh, but like a better example i guess could be like nothing for eight months and then boom two thousand dollar turnover right because your tenants moved out something like that so just bear that in mind but you got to account for those things so yes on an average month you'll probably make more than 429 but remember you know you're going to have those big expenses one day you're going to have to spend three grand on the furnace or a thousand on the hot water tank or two thousand on a turnover things of that nature now Going full bore, because remember, dude, you can't, you, you're not buying it cash, right? You got 30 grand, and we're going to stretch that using financing, right? We're going to get you a 30 year loan, 25% down. And uh, if anybody else out there needs lenders, uh, send me an email, jameswise at holtonwise.com. I'll get you my list of lenders. They will write loans to investors in all 50 states. Uh, Jose over here, he's not even chilling in the U.S. right now. He's, he's a U.S. citizen, but he's currently in Kuwait. 
You got to be a U.S. citizen though to get this kind of uh, these kind of loans. We do have lenders that will uh, loan to foreign nationals. Terms are not as good, and it's a little bit more difficult to to get those loans. But we do have that information for you. So if you're you're new to the game, you're watching Holton Wise TV, you're learning right now. The first step to actually making a purchase would be to get yourself pre-approved. So reach out to me, and I'll, I'll put you on the path to getting approved with those lenders. Um, so the type of terms we can get you, Jose, man, you're looking at putting down twenty-two thousand two hundred fifty. You had a total of thirty grand, so more or less you got what was that about eight grand, seven 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 thousand seven hundred fifty left over. Save that for your next investment, or if it turns out we need to put a little money into this property, perhaps in that basement, or we decide to upgrade that kitchen to increase the rent and just have a nicer product, you have that money available to you. Uh, so that'd give you a mortgage of sixty six thousand seven hundred fifty. And if you go uh, to holdenwise.com, tools and resource section, guys, I have a mortgage amortization schedule calculator thing for you guys. So right here, I've pulled up uh, Jose's numbers. So he would be paying three thirty eight twenty one a month. On my chart, I just wrote three thirty eight. I don't do the uh, the pennies, guys. That's a pain in the ass. And uh, if you're worried about twenty one cents on your monthly uh, mortgage, real estate investment, man, rental properties ain't for you, dude. There's a lot more variables than that gonna come your way. Uh, but this is cool because it could show you how much principal and interest and what your balance is. So if you are planning on buying it and holding it for seven years and then selling it, you could see, you know, like seven years from now, that'd be like, what, 2026? You know, your note would be down to like 58000 So you could calculate all that stuff uh, when you're you're going to sell your property. Or if you're getting ready to sell a property, which, by the way, if you are, man, reach out to me. We'll sell it on the Investment Properties for Sale show. Number one seller of rentals in Cleveland, baby. But if you're, you know, you bought a property 15 years ago and you had a $70,000 mortgage, you want to see where you're at, what you owe, you can, you can go to the mortgage calculator and type in the original terms, and then you could, uh, you know, go down that many years and see where you're at. But all that said, right, so Jose, you should be at 338 a month, dude. That's 4056 a year you should spend on that mortgage. That's going to cash flow you about 91 bucks, right? You know, the idea is to buy something that's passive and cash flow about 100 bucks. People say 100 bucks a door. I don't know how realistic that is, but 100 bucks a roof, you got two doors, 100 bucks for 100 grand, that's good, right? That's a good cash flow, 91. That's a 1,084 a year. Now that, that puts you at a cash on cash return of 4.9%. It's a cap rate of 5.8. Now I know 4.9% is not super sexy, bro, uh, but this is a pretty conservative analysis too. You got to remember, um, number one, uh, I didn't factor in the pure market rent. Like realistically, the max rent you can get out of this would be seven fifty, seven fifty. So we could have ran these numbers on a total of fifteen hundred dollars a month. So that's going to add some more. And then the second thing I did is because the property was on the market for such a long time, and it doesn't appear to be moving right now, um, and the seller's already willing to do POS stuff. I think we have some room here to negotiate for you, right? What I think you should do is I think you know first of all you got to make this offer contingent on inspection, right? If there's any water issues, any damp issues uh, found in the basement, I think we should ask that seller to gut out that room, okay, and then ask the seller to dry lock the basement. There's minor POS stuff, which the seller, you know, the listing agent had said in their private notes that the seller was open to negotiating on that. I say we ask the seller to do that too, okay? So those are the two big things. And then I think we go in in the low 80s or perhaps we start in the mid-70s. I think... You know, it shows that now that they're willing to negotiate on the POS, I think it shows that they've been dealing with this property for quite a while and they just want to sell. So I think we come in at like 75 grand, asking them for our inspection contingencies. You know, when the inspector goes in, I could be totally wrong and this house is totally bone dry and we don't have any issues in that basement, so you don't even have to worry about that. I, I can't tell you that right now, so we're just going to put that contingency in there to protect you, right? And then we'll ask them to do the POS and we'll, and we'll see what we get. I don't think you'll need to actually pay 89000 for this one. Sometimes some properties I think are super hot, and I think there's going to be like multiple bids. I don't think that's going to be the, the, the situation here because, again, it's been on the market for 113 days. It's not a bad deal, but, um, you know, I just think, you know, we have some room to negotiate here, and let's turn like an average deal into a really good deal. So my, my advice would be let's start at 75, ask for a clear POS, Put, obviously, uh, inspection contingency, and, of course, we're going to have a contingent on it appraising for at least the purchase price because you are financing. And we'll see where we go from there. And uh, 
from that, we'll see what we could work out of the seller in regards to a discount. And if you want, you know, at home, I've showed you how to run the numbers. You could play the numbers because, you know, realistically speaking, eventually you can have a total rent of 1500 a month. And perhaps, you know, we picked up the property at like 75000 Like if you ran the numbers at 75000 uh, of your investment and you're getting 1500 a month in rent, I don't know what the cash on cash return would be, but it would be high. <laughs> It'd be stupid high. Uh, but remember, it's going to be unlikely to get 1500 a month of rent without doing anything, right? Like you'd want to upgrade that one kitchen and then the downstairs tenant, uh, it's a similar condition. So I don't know if we'd necessarily be able to just up their rent to 750 So you'd probably have to feel the turnover there. Um, but, you know, nuts and bolts, man. This is a good property. It's got good bones. It's in a good neighborhood. I think it works out perfectly for you, man. Uh, you want something that's kind of low impact, right? It fits your budget. You have a very small amount of money you got to put into it. 22250 should theoretically leave you with 7750 left over to either A, go towards another deal or B, put some premium upgrades into this property to increase, you know, the, the, the quality of your units, which will get you better tenants that turn over less. So this leaves us some options. And like I said, I'd like to do some negotiating on that purchase price. So if you want, you could have me and my team. We'll personally handle this as your buyer's broker. Uh, or if you want, this is uh, you, when you purchase these analysis products from Holton Wise, man, this is, uh, there's no, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's no commitment required out of you guys, right? It's risk-free. So if you wanted to go directly to that listing agent to try to work something out with him, uh, you could do that as well. No harm, no foul. And after it closed, I would still uh, have my team manage the property for you. Absolutely. Um, it's it's whatever you guys want to do, but you know I'm a I'm a pretty damn good negotiator. Uh, you don't get to be the number one seller of rentals in Cleveland if you're not very good at some of this stuff. So I think we could add a lot of value to you uh, to you here by negotiating this deal for you. Um, so I, I think that would be the better route. But hey, you don't have to, and my feelings will not be hurt if you do go directly to the listing agent. It is a pay uh, as you go service that we offer here at Holton Weiss. So, Jose, my man, uh, that is everything. Good luck out there continuing uh, working in Kuwait. That is uh, definitely an interesting uh, career path. I'm sure uh, you've probably seen some risky stuff out there, even more risky than maybe some of the, you know, the rough stuff we have on the Tenants from Hell show. Totally different type of risk, right? Uh, so, yeah, man, that's all I got. Uh, everybody else who's watching the show, do me a favor. Smash that subscribe button so you get more information more products like this. And then if you ever want to purchase your own uh, investment analysis like my guy Jose did, guys, all you got to do is you go to the property search tab, okay? And then that's the investment properties for sale show that I was telling you guys about. You want to subscribe to that show on our mailing list I talked about earlier. It's in the show notes. I'll email you my properties every day at 1. Uh, but you got to be quick and aggressive on those guys. I get probably 20 bids every day on every property. Uh, but they do come with a full video tour, so you're going to learn a lot. Uh, there too. But if you want to put me to work, either you found a property on like Zillow, Realtor.com, or you just want to give me your criteria like Jose did and you want me to find something, this is what you want to do, guys. Right here, you could buy all the products. Uh, there's multiple options. You could upgrade your package. This is one of the entry-level products where I do everything from my desk. But if you want, I will send my entire film team into the property for you on your behalf to make you a personalized video tour, and you'll still get this desktop analysis. Whatever you guys want to do, like I said, it's a pay-for-service uh, thing we got going on here. And then under here, I got a newer product I want to let you guys know about. You guys can have the MLS at your fingertips. You guys can have my broker MLS access whenever you want it, okay? Now, we talked about the ultimate guide. I graded those neighborhoods A to F. I have set up direct MLS feeds. The moment something happens on the MLS, you will get that data. So I've set this up. We got the five grades, A, B, C, D, F, and then I broke it into three categories. Single family homes, small multi, so that's your two to four units that still qualify for that residential 30-year financing. And then for the big dogs out there, the big stuff, apartment buildings, five units and up, or like retail, that type of stuff, the bigger investors, right? That's not for the starters out there. I think you guys should stick with the singles and the doubles till you hit your 10 mortgages and then move on to the big stuff. But those are the five um, neighborhood grades based on all the stuff you see in the Ultimate Guide. And you have those three options. So we have 15 total searches. You could pick whichever ones you're interested in and uh, sign up for that. And the moment there is a change in the market, you will get that data. 
instantly. The moment I get it, you're going to get it automatically. You're getting my direct MLS feed. That means, guys, you are getting the properties, all the information. If a price price drop happens, if a property goes active, if it was temporarily off market and it switches to active, if it falls out of contract, you're getting that information immediately. That is before sites that aggregate the data from brokers, that aggregate MLS data. So like Zillow, guys, you're going to get your information sometimes days before Zillow, Trulia, Hotpads, Realtor.com, all that stuff, guys. So definitely check out uh, the real-time MLS feeds, uh, and you can get into these assets before anybody else. That's all I've got for everybody. Uh, one last thing before you go, guys. Do me a favor. Give me the thumbs up and drop a comment. Um, we need some engagement with the videos uh, to let YouTube's algorithm know that you guys are seeing a ton of value. So, you know, don't just watch the video. Just give me some type of engagement, guys, whether you're sharing it, uh, liking it, or posting a comment. It, it helps us in our search rankings so we can get this information out to more investors out there. Thanks, guys. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management, We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email, and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.